Now, following on from part one of Solar and Concepts, we're going to be now looking at part two, which is harmonic variations. In this, we're going to take, again, a simple phrase, a more ja jazz-oriented phrase, and we're going to edit the harmonic function of that phrase uh, so that we can apply it to a, a large number of different situations. Uh, the phrase in question is going to be a nice, simple D minor, uh, D Dorian phrase, which is the sort of thing that John Scofield might play. And it uses all seven notes of the major scale and no chromatic notes. So it's really easy to edit. <coughs> it's really easy to see where all the, um, how all the notes function over a type of chord. And the phrase in question sounds and looks like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's working over a minor seventh chord and using the Dorian mode. <clears throat> if we wanted to change it up so that it worked over, uh, say, a minor seven sharp five chord, uh, we could edit it so that the, the notes functioned over the Aeolian mode. Now, this, this is going to take a, a fair bit of theoretical knowledge and is also a simplistic look at how jazz players develop a vac vocabulary. But for our purposes, this is a nice, simple introduction to how to develop absolute bang for buck uh, through very simple phrases. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the major sixth of the Dorian mode and turn it into a minor sixth so that it fits over an Aeolian chord, in this case a minor seven sharp five. common in jazz playing is the half diminished chord or the minor 7 flat 5. So what we can do is edit our phrase again so that it fits over that chord. Uh, in this case we're going to take the Locrian mode, D Locrian mode, and we're going to play that over the D minor 7 flat 5 chord and it sounds like this. <laughs> One of the most common problems I, I hear from students is, is how to play and improvise using the melodic minor mode. It's a very, very common, very common scale in the jazz vocabulary, but it's very hard to start off playing with, especially as we, we've been weaned playing minor pentatonic. And so it's quite hard to know how that major seventh in the uh, melodic minor fits in. And so one way to do it is to take these simple phrases and edit them so that they fit over a melodic minor sounding chord. A very good melodic minor sounding chord is the minor major 9, which sounds like this. And here's the phrase with the melodic minor alterations. Okay, so those have all been fairly complex and um, probably the not, not the cheeriest sounding examples. So uh, let's, let's brighten it up and let's go over into the major modes. So over a, over a D major chord, uh, we could take the Ionian mode, D Ionian, and alter all the notes so that it fits that particular uh, pattern. And it would sound like this. <laughs> the uh, fourth degree of the major scale uh, would be sort of implying a Lydian sound to it 
and that's that's great, especially um, uh, for for those of you who are fans of Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, John Petrucci, um, Alex Lifeson from Rush, those guys. This is a sound you'd be very used to hearing, and so very good one to get into your vocabulary. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a major seventh sharp eleventh chord, and over it we're going to be playing uh, the the phrase altered for a Lydian tonality. Okay, now to go back to a much more jazz sounding chord, the classic dominant seventh chord, altered so that it fits a mixed Lydian scale. Now, if we take that alteration and apply the raised four in it, we get a very, very nice scale, very, very popular jazz scale, uh, as popularized hugely by Miles Davis. Um, and this is Lydian dominant. Uh, this is the same as a mixed Lydian, but all we've done is we've taken the fourth degree and, and raised it a semitone. And it sounds and looks like this. <laughs> Okay, well, um, that's, a, that's a fairly uh, fast-run uh, explanation of how, how we, can, we can take this concept and apply it to our ideas. Um, as I said before, I mean, we've this is just the, um, this is the briefest of looks at a very complex topic. But uh, if it just gives you a quick idea of something you can apply to ideas you already know, or if it gives you an incentive to learn a bit more theory, then uh, hopefully it will be of some use. Uh, once again, I hope you enjoy it, and let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.